Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And today we are going to be breaking down the Halo Infinite Season 1 trailer that we saw at Gamescom. So let's go ahead and break it down. But before we actually do break it down, I do want to read the description because the description does say a lot. I think it gives a lot more information. So let's go ahead and tackle that first. Alright, so let's get right into it. So Commander Agrina, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it seems like it says Agrina. So Commander Agrina knows firsthand the difference a Spartan can make. A difference never more important than now. Humanity's forces are scattered. Desperate resistance efforts have continued to fall short on multiple fronts. From Cortana's relentless martial law to the expanding power and ambition of Atriox and the Banished. But there is hope, a new generation of Spartans training in secret to become unstoppable. In this cinematic introduction to Season 1 of Halo Infinite Multiplayer, get a glimpse into the Academy's, or Academy, sorry, Commander's own heroic journey and what it truly means to be a Spartan. So this, I think they talk about it after, at Gamescom, or Gamescom, I can't really say that properly, but at Gamescom, they talked about a little bit about this trailer, um, and yeah, Joe Staten was on there, and he said that it was going to like evolve throughout the, the seasons, like you were going to see basically her story throughout the seasons, what I should be saying. So what we can really obtain from this information is that, yeah, you know, Cortana has kind of taken over the whole universe or whatever, and it's just kind of controlling everything, and there's like some small resistance groups and stuff like that in secret they're training spartans to like combat all this stuff so yeah let's go ahead and uh look at the trailer now all right so let's go ahead and start breaking down the trailer and the first thing we get is the freaking rating of the game so it is going to be teen rated so right off the bat we see a phantom flying in and we can tell that it takes place in like a futuristic london london or something because you can see the clock tower here and so a lot of people were saying, like, I was reading the comments and a lot of people were saying, oh my god, you know, it's Big Ben. And I was like, I was like, who the hell is Big Ben? Because me being uncultured, <laughs> I was like, who the heck is Big Ben in my mind, you know, thinking to myself. And so I search it up. <laughs> and to my surprise, it's what they call the clock tower. Um, I don't know. It's what they call the clock tower. For. I didn't really research too much to it too much into it but it's what they cl call the uh clock tower so <laughs> i don't know i feel stupid for saying that because when people were saying big ben i thought they were talking about the humongous spartan that we see later in this uh video and you'll see what i'm talking about but i thought <laughs> i thought he was like some kind of like spartan that was from like the books or something and he was called big ben i guess because he was humongous i don't know i just found that funny anyways but uh yeah let's go ahead and <laughs> let's actually start breaking stuff down but uh yeah as you can see it takes place in like a futuristic london season one uh trailer thing and we got a phantom here and one thing to point out here is that the phantom is purple um which is interesting because does that mean the covenant is still a thing or could it mean that Maybe this is like so early on where the banished are still using Covenant tech and they haven't like um, like repainted everything and kind of like made their own thing. Maybe it's like in the early days of that or something. Or the other thing I was thinking is that maybe it's part of it. Maybe it's not even the banished. Maybe it's part of like Cortani Cortani's. Was I just about to say Cortani's? Anyways, <laughs> it's probably part of Cortana's like faction or something. I don't know, we'll see. So that's really interesting. And you see some banshees flying flying by, doing a flyby. So as you can see they're currently in martial law, you can clearly tell. Just like the description said. Oh yeah, one thing to point out here is the necklace. Let me see if we could get a clearer picture. There we go. Um this seems to have some sort of significance to her like maybe it's some kind of like family heirloom or something um i don't know it's kind of interesting we'll see how that evolves throughout the seasons so we see brutes kind of patrolling the streets music's pretty good too i like it 
So it's essentially a flashback, and then we go to like her current day, I guess. Why are you here? To fight. To win. To be a Spartan. That was cheesy. I don't like. It. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that was super cheesy. I don't know. I felt that. I felt like that was super cheesy. Him saying to be a Spartan. I don't know. That felt really cheesy. And so yeah, so it looks like she's part of a resistance group. I'm gonna assume. Um, and maybe they got split up or something. I don't know. Cause I don't understand why she would be running unless she was she was doing like some kind of like you know making trouble or something. And you could clearly tell there's like debris everywhere. Like look at this. She goes by a scorpion tank and there's like scraps of metal, debris and stuff. So it's as if something happened. Maybe something happened and they're kind of enforcing it a lot more now or something. I don't know. What is so we got the scorpion Spartan? tank. And so one thing I do want to note out is that I don't think these are banished. They may possibly will might be banished, but I personally think this is I think Cortana's faction. Because the banished, you know, typically are red. Um, so I don't know. I don't think they're banished. I mean, let's take a closer look here. Look, she or not she? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know why I said she, but look at this brute. Like he has blue, you know, around him. He doesn't have any red. Um, that's just kind of a glare off of something else, I think. And I mean, he has red lights, and this guy's blue as well. But they're like blue and gray. You can kind of see like their color scheme here. Um, so th I personally think this is Cortana's like faction. It has to be. A Spartan is a symbol. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be an ODST here because you know it only it only makes sense. I mean it's a drop pod. That's kind of their thing. So I mean this is really cool. But I was kind of I don't know. I mean I dude I love ODST. So seeing it be a Spartan instead. Kind of made me a little sad. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. So, I mean, Spartans are way better and effective. But, I don't know. <laughs> I think this part's pretty iconic. In times of darkness. So, these are the new, new gen Spartans. And so, this, I'm a little confused about. Because, like, is that a plasma grenade or is that the new electric grenade? Is it, like, that new electric grenade that... I, I think it's plasma. It's a plasma nade. But it could be that electric grenade. Who knows? I think it might be the plasma, though. Oh, yeah. This part's pretty cool. Dude, look how humongous his hand is. Okay, so here's the part where I thought people were talking about this guy right here. So if you see where my mouse cursor is at, I thought people were calling this guy Big Ben because he's big and maybe his name's Ben. I don't know, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what I thought people were calling Big Ben or whatever. Together, I'm uncultured, don't mind me. So. And see, you could see that. Necklace definitely means something to him. Candidates are and yeah, she becomes a Spartan. You ready? Yes, ma'am. I can't hear you. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Again. And you could also see here that she has a symbol on her armor, so it clearly is something to do with her family or something. I don't know. Ma something yes, like that. Good. Who's first? And the biggest thing is a release date. We finally get a release date, so we get December 8th, 2021. A lot of people thought it was going to be November 15th, because that would be the anniversary of Halo, the exact date. Um, so, I'm just happy we got a release date. That's all I needed. I'm satisfied. I think the trailer was just extra to me, but really all I wanted was a release date, and I'm, I'm satisfied with that.
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this cool um, cinematic trailer. Let me know if you're kind of let down or if you think it was awesome or if you're excited. I'm definitely excited for the game. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I mean, I'm just happy to finally be playing a new Halo game, really. If you guys would like to see more Halo content like this, I do a variety of stuff. Sometimes I do news videos, sometimes I do gameplay. I do, I try to cover at least everything. So consider subscribing and like the video as well as it shows your support. And it helps me out in the algorithm. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.